Hello, good afternoon. This is David Stutter talking to you. Today is my weekly trade predictions for the upcoming trading week of January 13th through January 17th, 2020. Okay, and as we move into this new year, we're starting to see a lot more activity. And this past Friday was non-farm payroll, as you probably are aware. And but the non-farm payroll did not see a huge amount of activity as we normally would see. But then again, that is the first NFP for the year. So I did not expect a huge movement, but we, we did see some activity and the US dollar is uh, kind of 50-50 right now. They started to drop and go back up again. But I think overall the US dollar will be dropping, okay? And anyhow, um, I want to say that all the pairs, all the major currency pairs were more or less in a flat range of market this past week. And this is because it was the beginning of the year, it's not a huge amount of movement, so we're not going to see any new trends emerging yet. All right, but I think I think this week we're going to start seeing a lot more trends emerge. So, if you look here on the euro USD, pound USD, Australian dollar USD, the price ended slightly lower than where it began. Okay, even though it was in a flat range of market. Now, the US dollar, Swiss so franc, Japanese yen, and the US dollar, Canadian dollar, had an inverse opposite effect where the price ended higher than where it began okay so i want to kind of point that out the u.s dollar did gain this past week but it's not a huge gain okay it's a slight maybe a few hundred pips um if we look here on euro usd okay we had a slight drop off in price as i had mentioned and if we look at the four hour chart okay i want to see that you know I think the price is going to be coming back up, although we do not have a up arrow here. Okay, we only have a down arrow. The one hour we do. So, but the daily we have a down arrow, and the weekly we have an up arrow along with the monthly. Okay, so long, long term, this is going to be going up. Okay, I cannot stress that enough. I've been saying it for a long time. Now, obviously the price had gone up and back down again, right? But sooner or later, the price is going to shoot back up. And I think that what's going to happen is uh, we're going to see a level of resistance get broken this week. Okay, I think the price might come down a little bit Monday or Tuesday, but definitely by Wednesday this is going to be spiking up. Okay, it's already starting to go up right now, so it's hard, difficult to say if it's going to continue to go up. But here's what you can do. Watch this. Right, this point here, this point here, that would be your resistance. Okay. So what we're looking for is the price to come up and touch that trend line here, touch this resistance. If it breaks, then it's continue. It will continue to go up. Okay. But if not, it's going to bounce and continue to go down. It's going to retrace. Okay. So on the four-hour chart, we do not have an up arrow. So you can watch for this price to go up and, and then come back down again. That is what I am going to predict. So in the, in the first couple of days of this week, we should see the price go up, hit that resistance and bounce back down. I do not think it's going to break. Okay, it could, but I don't think it's gonna break that resistance. All right, so Monday and Tuesday is safe to buy. Okay, around Wednesday, look to sell, okay? If you want, you can just hold off until Wednesday until you get a strong signal to sell on the one hour chart here. Okay, but it looks like it's definitely going to be going up the first couple of days. Moving on to GDP USD, Great British Pound versus US dollar. Again, the price ended slightly lower than where it began. Overall, we saw a flat range of market. And if we look at the four hour chart, we have a down arrow, same as your USD. And of course, these two pairs follow some of the patterns, generally speaking. That what daily chart shows it wants to go down, and the weekly chart and monthly chart shows it wants to go up. So long, long term, it will be going up. In the short term, it should be dropping. And if we come here on the daily and draw a trend line coming up like this, okay, this will be our support. And what I predict. If the price is going to drop down to this level and then shoot back up. 
Now this is on a daily chart right here. Keep in mind. And so what we can expect is for this to be dropping for the next several days. Now, probably through Wednesday is what I am guessing. So watch for this and beginning of the week, watch for this to drop, hit this trend line and then bounce back up. Okay. So it's a little bit different from your USD, but the thing is, uh, in the beginning of the week, we're going to see, a, we're going to see the price go one way. And then towards the end of the week, we see the price rebound and go back up. Normally, generally speaking, Wednesdays are a very good day for reversals in the market. I'm not sure why, if it's planned that way, if the market's rigged that way, but I've been studying this for a long time and Wednesdays seem to be a good day for a lot of strong reversals in the market. Moving on to Australian dollar, US dollar. Here we see that, again, the price dropped down and is slightly lower than where it began. More or less was in a flat range of market. And again, on the four hour chart, it wants to sell. The daily chart wants to sell weekly and monthly show to uh, go up, right? So long, long term, this is definitely gonna be going up. Short term, it should be dropping, okay? If we look here on the daily chart, I guess, um, look down like this. If I look down like this, it's already broken uh, this resistance, okay? If I go on a four hour chart, maybe we can see a little better. But overall, overall, there is your resistance and it has definitely broken and it is definitely going up. So this pair in particular looks like it's going to be going to an uptrend this week. Okay. And if I look on the one hour chart, we have this right here. We have this long level of resistance that was broken. And so now, yes, it's definitely going up into an uptrend. Okay. So I would, in the beginning of this week, I would definitely look to buy. Oops, I would definitely look to buy. But, um, like I said, the daily chart never formed a down arrow, okay? And the four hour chart never formed a up arrow, okay? The blue arrow. Daily chart never formed a blue arrow. The four hour chart never formed a blue arrow. So, what's going to happen exactly? Is it going to keep shooting up? I doubt it. If we look here at a previous level of support that has been broken, we can mark this level right here, okay? And now that price shot down, broke that level of support and is now a resistance, okay? So when you break a support, you have a support that broken, now it becomes resistance, okay? I hope that makes sense. So, um, since that is a resistance right now, we can expect the price to go up, hit that level and bounce back down. So in the beginning of this week, probably Monday and Tuesday, we should see this price go up, hit this resistance and shoot back down again. Okay. And then it come back down to the same level, I'm guessing somewhere in here, and then it should form a blue up arrow. Okay. And that would be optimal time to buy. So you can, if you want in the beginning of this week, you could you could buy and wait for it hit hit or you could just wait it out wait for a strong signal to sell and then sell away and hold the sell for a few days okay so that would probably be a more of an a optimal better thing to do it's kind of late right now to get into a buy although you probably could get a few pips on the way up right uh, and I'll leave that up to you, but definitely look, I would more or less look to sell Australian dollar, US dollar this week. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Uh, US dollar, Swiss franc, moving on. Again, we see pretty much a flat range of market where the price ended slightly higher than where it began. But overall, you know, pretty much moving in a sideways fashion. Okay, now if we look at the four hour chart, we have a signal to buy. And the same with the daily. So in the short term, this will be going up. But if we look at the weekly, we have a signal to sell. And the monthly, we have a signal to sell, 
right? But you can see that, you know, has been pretty much moving in a flat range of market for quite some time now, okay? Even on the weekly. So <clears throat> the U.S. dollar has been fighting to go into a downtrend. And like I've always said, the U.S. dollar is the strongest currency in the world, and it will not just lay down without a fight. So what's going to happen this week? We already see we have a blue candle forming on this weekly, and it looks like it's starting to go back up. The daily shows it wants to go up, and the four-hour show it wants to go up. So in the short term, we will see this go up, okay? And if we look here on this four-hour chart, I'm going to draw a trend line coming down like this, okay? And I hope that makes sense. Now, if we look here, watch this. Hmm. No, this is not 100% perfect. But we have a resistance, right? And right here it broke. Came back up. Now, whenever you have a resistance that's broken, it becomes a support. It becomes the opposite, right? So you see right here the price hit that support has now bounced off of it. So that's a very good indication that, yes, this will be going up this week. And what I think, and this is kind of interesting based on the non-farm payroll, non-farm payroll had a bad or negative uh, jobs report so the price should be going down long term but then again uh, it's based on just the geometrics okay the basics of price action strategy and how the market is rigged how this market is pre-programmed we see that uh, is definitely getting ready to go up okay so I think that this price will be going up for most of this week it's not going to be a huge gain we'll more or less see like a flat range of market just like we did this past week but we'll have a steady uh uphill climb okay if you will so it should be the price should be up and down but slowly trickling up can you buy or sell this week uh we can do both if you go on a 15 minute chart I would probably stick to a 15 minute chart and just look at that, okay? Look at signals to both buy and sell. If you're in a range of market, 15 minute chart works excellent. Do not go for huge pips, all right? Just get like 100, 100 pip or 100 point. Take profit with every trade. If you look here, that's 300 points right there. So that, and this one here is probably about 500, you know, 400. So that's okay, right? And but if you get a, just 100 pips every trade, that's okay, all right? You know, every day or two, you can crank these crank these uh, pips out. In one week, you have five, 600 pips, easy, all right? Just on one currency pair. So it's just, um, just a little strategy. When you're in a flat range of market like this, stick to a 15 minute chart. Even a 30 minute is okay, but 15 minute chart, from my experience, 15 minute chart has worked wonders okay in a range of market u.s dollar japanese yen we will probably more or less see the same type of scenario except on the four hour chart we show the sell and daily chart shows the sell okay so it looks like we have hit a pretty solid level of resistance okay so um now the, the monthly shows that go down but the daily shows that go up so what's really going to happen well what you can do is the weekly shows to go up right and it's been showing up for quite some time it keeps hitting this like ceiling this like wall if you will okay it's just not going past that ceiling right it's hit this level many many times and has not broken it should you know at some point here in the near future now we're going to a new year look at that there's a there is your resistance perfect line right there okay horizontal line what I would do is put a buy stop about a hundred points or so higher up above this resistance and then wait for that to trigger okay now as you see here on the four hour it's already starting to drop so what you can do here in this case also is put a sell stop pendant order just below this candle here okay and only go for like 100 pips, 100 points, 
take profit. Okay, do not go for huge gains, but you know, get your get your profit if it drops. Okay, I don't I do not think it's going to be a huge drop this week. What I think is going to happen is probably uh, the first beginning of the week we should see this drop, but around Wednesday or so we should see this reverse and go back up. So if we stick, look here on a 30 minute chart, we see it already starting to work itself into a downtrend, right? And we can technically say that, okay, this is our downtrend right here and just follow this down. And then when it breaks on the 30 minute chart, oops, when it breaks on the 30 minute chart, that would be a optimal time to buy, the best time to, uh, to buy, right? And so, like I said, in the beginning of the week, you can definitely look to sell. Going towards the end of the week, you can definitely look to buy, okay? Stick to a 15-minute chart if you want, but, you know, I don't think it's going to be like a flat range of market. I think we're going to see just a few days of drop and then a few days of gain. So it's going to be like a V-shape uh, for this week. And the price will more than likely end pretty much where it began. That's what I am predicting for this week. US dollar, Canadian dollar moving on. Again, we see a more or less a flat range of market where the price ended higher, slightly higher than where it began, right? And if we look at the four hour chart, we show it went to go up and it's already starting to go into the uptrend and the daily as well. So, now, based on the job report, we got the Canadian dollar had a good outlook for the jobs, while the U.S. dollar did not on the non-farm payroll, right? So this should be dropping, okay? But then again, we don't know for sure. If we go here on the weekly and draw a downtrend like that, or even like that, we see that we have a level of resistance, right? And what I'm guessing is that okay this is our level of resistance but the price is going to come up and touch this trend line and bounce down again okay and that's on a weekly so look here on the daily we see this going up right now so what we got to anticipate is let me try to reshape this a little bit but if this is our resistance, which it looks like it is, we can expect the price to go up and touch this trend line. Okay? So that means, what that means is that pretty much all this week, we should see a steady up climb. Okay? But based on the non farm payroll, I don't think we're going to see a this price shoot up that much. So more or less, we should see a flat range of market with a slight increase in the price. Okay. So I would, if I was you, I would stick to a 15 minute chart. Uh, just like, you know, I told you about US dollar Swiss franc. Stick to a 15 minute chart and you can buy and sell off of this. All right. Do not go for huge pips. You know, stick with about 100 pips, 100 points per trade and you will be perfectly fine. You could also you know open a trade on one arrow and then close it on the opposite okay that's i'll leave that up to you but um for me i would just take a small take profit and just do that every day okay we did one trade a day then you could have about 500 pips in one week just on one currency pair, right so that's not bad okay so anyhow this is my weekly trade predictions for all the major currency pairs let me know if you have any questions or comments about this analysis, these predictions, and I'll be more than happy to help you. Uh, also, if you have any questions about another currency pair that is not listed here, please feel free to reach out to me on Facebook. There is a link below in the description of this video for my personal Facebook account. Please contact me there first. Also, there is a link for my private Facebook group. You can contact me there as well. And you can post any questions or comments in my Facebook group. And then myself or other traders, we can assist you and we can all have an open discussion about this or any of my other predictions or signals, okay? So really, you can talk about anything you want, Forex related, okay? So 
Anyhow, let me know if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you, and I hope you have a good, good week ahead trading. Thank you.